I'm Richard Musio, founder of Move Your Feet Before You Eat Foundation and associate producer of Stickability, which is premiering tonight at Arclight in La Jolla. I'm here with Frank Shankwitz, founder of Make-A-Wish Foundation. Frank, welcome. What are you hoping you get out of watching the premiere of Stickability this evening? I hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, this is all new to me. I'm a police officer in Arizona, and all of a sudden I'm featured in a film, so it's a whole new adventure for me. Now, I know you are known as the founder of Make-A-Wish Foundation. Can you just tell us a brief description of how this, how this amazing organization came about many, many years ago? In 1980, I was a motorcycle officer with Arizona Highway Patrol and was introduced to a little boy named Chris, seven years old, who had leukemia and only a couple weeks to live. His heroes were Ponch and John from the TV show Chips, and he wanted to grow up to be just like Ponch and John. Friends of his asked if we could make that happen for Chris which we did through our commanders at Arizona Highway Patrol. He became the first and only Arizona Highway Patrolman complete with uniform, hat, everything. And, but he didn't have a motorcycle. He wanted the motorcycle wings, but we found out he had a battery operated motorcycle in place of a wheelchair. We gave him a test. He went through there. Of course, he earned his wings, but unfortunately he went into the hospital the next day. When I went to the hospital to pin on the wings, he came out of a coma because he was dying right then. He saw the wings, he just, he got his wish. He became a motorcycle officer, and unfortunately he passed away later that day. He was buried in Illinois. My commanders asked if I would go back and give him a full police funeral. We had lost a fellow officer, even though he's seven years old. But we had such a great response from the Illinois State, a little town in Kewanee. Illinois State Police, County, City Police all chipped in. This little boy they had never met, but he was a fellow police officer. But flying home from Arizona, I just kept thinking, here's this little boy, he had a wish, and we made that happen. Why can't we do that for other children? And that's when the idea of Make-A-Wish was born. Uh, that was in uh, April of 1980. Six months later, we became official. In November, I mean, in March of 1981, we granted our first official wish. That was 33 years ago, now 300,000 wishes, 64 chapters in the United States, 36 international chapters on five continents, all because of one little boy. It's an amazing legacy, Frank. Let me ask you about one other thing. A book is coming out soon called Universal Wish. I'm actually in one of the chapters, and I know you're in the book too. Tell yeah. us about Universal Wish. My personal Universal Wish yeah. is to, to keep helping with these children. In fact, not only the children we're involving with through this movie we're doing uh, with Greg Reed called Wishman, a theatrical movie we're in production right now, and then a TV show that's going to go. We're going to contact several different charities throughout the United States, just not the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but several children's charities, the Wounded Warrior type children. Give back as much as we can. That's an amazing story. Frank, very much appreciated. Hope you enjoy the premiere of Stickability this evening. Thank you, sir.